Well, thank you. Good evening. Uh, it's great to be here. When I was first asked to speak about public safety or the police department sustainability, I had a little bit of a pause to see what I was talking about. But as I thought about some more, my problem was really trying to condense it within the five minutes. So I'm going to try to give an overview and give some slides, and, and hopefully it will generate some thought and some conversation at the end, because that's what we're hoping to get out of this. So we'll jump right into this. Uh, sustainability in the Ann Arbor Police Department. What does that look like for public safety? A vibrant downtown and safe neighborhoods? Disaster preparedness? And to sum it up, I think sustainability is partnership with the community. We see this theme going about, and it's, and it's no difference for public safety. So it's a partnership with the community, and how do we do that? How do we make it convenient for the community to interact with the police? Well, this is one way. The presentations, I was just at a community meeting yesterday. So these are the kind of things that we like to do. So it's community involvement. One way you can all get involved is Neighborhood Watch. I hope some of you out there are uh, uh, a part of Neighborhood Watch. Currently, there are over 300 Neighborhood Watch block captains. And how does that work? We have a, uh, a police neighborhood watch coordinator that disseminates the information and crime alerts. So that's one way of getting the information out to the neighborhoods. We want to partner with community because you're our eyes and ears. What's another way here? Crime Stoppers. Everybody heard of Crime Stoppers? It's very, uh, very popular out in the Detroit area. You see in the news stations. Uh, the police department, here's the phone number. And the police department is partnered with Crime Stoppers of Michigan. And in fact, the coordinator for Washtenaw County is housed at our police station. So we have, much, we have a great interaction with them. And just in case you do have a tip out there, I will put out there, they do reward, they do have cash rewards out there. But once again, it's, it's the whole theme about community relationship and partners. The next theme of how we, how we uh, uh, interact with the community is how do we make us more approachable? I am a people person. When I, pick, when I make a call, I hope to get a person. When I go somewhere, I hope to speak to a person. But there is another segment of society that likes to deal with convenience in other ways. So there are some things that you may not be aware of. We have a uh, police e-desk kiosk that's right in the front lobby of the Justice Center. Uh, if you've been up there, you may see it up there. It's just been active uh, lately. And I'm just going to scroll through these, but these are some of the things that you can do on there. Make a police report, uh, freedom of information, traffic crashes, uh, Complaint or compliment, I hope it's the latter about a police officer. <laughs> a satisfaction survey, make payments online, because if you've been to the front desk, sometimes it does get you know, backed up depending on the time of day, especially on a football Saturday or something. Get other types of applications, and it, the list goes on. So if you go up there and you want to visit, it's much like an airport kiosk that gets your uh, automated ticketing. So it's something that we would like to have people uh, utilize. This is just a screen that you'll see if you get on there. Another way, online police reporting. I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with it. We also kicked this off so that it's more convenient for people to make police reports. One of the things that we have found that there are many types of police reports that do not necessarily need the, uh, the police follow-up. And those are types that you do for merely for, for, uh, for filing purposes or for insurance purposes. So some of the types of things that you can do, first of all, you get on it from the Ann Arbor Police uh, homepage. There's a link right to it. All of these, you'll find a common theme. They do not involve suspects or, or any follow-up. So what will happen is you file a police report online. A police officer or a civilian will review the report. And if there's anything that we need a police follow-up, it will get assigned to somebody and they'll recontact you. It's just another way to make it convenient for the people to interact with the, uh, with the police department. Another interesting for, uh, for uh, information sharing and dissemination of information is crimemapping.com. Has anybody have seen this before? Very few. There's a few people here. It's a very interesting feature. CrimeMapping.com, if you go on there, it looks a little busy right now because it's capturing for a time frame of, it looks like about six days there, of all the crime that's been reported to our system. And it's automatically uploaded into the CrimeMapping.com. But on the top, you'll see the, the, the thing right now. It's highlighted by agency. But you can also go on there for crime types. So you can specifically get on there and talk about specific types of crimes. You can even get on there for a specific address, and it could just narrow down the focus of your neighborhood. We also have Office of Emergency Management, uh, disaster preparedness, such as what we ex experienced during the storm. CERT, Community Emergency Response Team. It's a community resource of trained volunteers that helps us deal with disasters. It is countywide. It's coordinated by our emergency manager, and there's currently 25 to 30 members. So it's something that, that we can all get involved in. Code Red. Anybody know about Code Red? You can sign up for Code Red notifications. Automatic phone notification system has the ability to handle 1,500 calls a minute. 
If you sign up for that, uh, we can also narrow the scope. We've used it in many times for different types of situations. From a police-related incident, it's about ongoing police incidents. If we have a critical incident, we might let you tell you to stay inside. We can also put it out for missing people, and you can sign up on the city web page. Regional collaboration. We've talked about this about a little bit of regional collaboration. Sustainability also means collaboration of resources. Uh, in policing, that's no different. We have to be smart about how we collaborate to do that. So what we do in policing, there's collaboration in both specialized units and everyday operations. We have combined our SWAT teams. We have combined our negotiating team. And we also have everyday operations where we use mutual aid to re get the resources of other communities to be involved. And we have information sharing that's countywide and the dissemination of information. So I am going to close because I am being signaled here, and I, I think the timing was good. So how would you like to see the Ann Arbor Police Department continue its partnership with the community for sustainability? That's the type of question I hope that will uh, to get some thought behind that, to ask questions later or even afterwards on a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me. Okay. So thank you.